Welcome back, everyone. Well, yet another week down and still no flex track. Let me kind of adjust this real quick here. So we're going to do another one on the stamps tonight. And I just wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers and thanks for, thank you to everybody who's watching the videos. And if you are new to the channel, you know, please uh, hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up because it helps to get it out there to uh, more people. So with that being said, um, tonight's year is 1967. And what was going on in 1967? Well, a couple different stamps here and I'll show everybody what they all have. But the average cost of a stamp for a commemorative stamp back then was five cents. And uh, let's get started here. So the first one we have tonight is um, we have our National Grange. I believe that's how you say it. It honors the 100th anniversary of the uh, founding of the National Grange, a major farmer farmer's organization which had pioneered support for rural free delivery, vocational, agricultural, and many other issues. And uh, that's that one right there. As you can see, that's uh, a really nice, uh, really nice stamp. I like the coloring on that one, and I also like uh, the um, what it what it is. So that's a real nice one. All right, the next one is our Canadian Centennial. This stamp commemorates the hundredth anniversary of the signing of Articles of Confederation, which established Canada as part of the British Commonwealth. The, Can the Canadian Centennial issue was the first U.S. stamp to have first day ceremonies and cancellations on foreign soil in Montreal. Now this one doesn't have the cancellation, but it's because uh, it's you know mint stamp. But there's that one right there. And again, like I say, a lot of these in the '67 series are really nice ones. I, I mean, they they are really some nice designs and all that. So. Um, the next one is the Erie Canal. It says it was issued in honor of the 150th anniversary of the Erie Canal, which runs between Albany, New York, and Buffalo, New York. The canal, which connects the Hudson River with Lake Erie, was completed in 1825. And you got that one there, a boat. Looks like a broken golf club. <laughs> I know that's not what it is, but um shows the boat there, you know, and everything with the... Uh, with, um, Erie Canal on the back of the boat. Oh, okay, that's the back of the boat. I see now. Okay. All right, our next one. Search for Peace. This uh, five cent stamp publicizes the Search for Peace, an essay contest sponsored by Lions International, which encouraged school children to devise plans for achieving world peace. And again, you got the dove with the uh, olive branch there. And uh, search for peace. Really nice one. Simple, but really nice. Henry David Thoreau is our next one. It's a, it was an issued commemorative of the 150th birthday of Henry David Thoreau, the American author who for two years lived in solitude in a cabin so he could observe and contemplate nature. There. And boy, you're sitting out in a cabin all by yourself. That would that sounds uh, relaxing right about now. <laughs> all right, our next one. It's uh, Nebraska Statehood. Inhabited by prehistoric people as early as 8,000 B.C., Nebraska was seed, seed to the United States as part of the Louisiana Purchase in 1854. The region became part of the Nebraska Territory, and Nebraska became the 37th state of the Union on March 1st, 1867. There's that one right there. And again, I'm trying to, you know, not get so much on the glare and I'm trying to hold it steady so a camera, um, you can guys, everybody can see it. Our next one, um, Voice of America. This celebrates the 25th anniversary of the Voice of America, the radio broadcasting branch of the United States Information Agency. And again, just a radio tower like that. Right, and we're gonna just do the whole. We're gonna just do the whole set. There's only um, what is it? Uh, to see here, three, four, five, six. There's like 14 stamps in this one, so we're gonna do the whole thing here. All right, so moving on with the uh, 67 commemoratives here. Our next one is uh, Davy Crockett, issued to honor the U.S. frontman, frontiersman, politician, and hunter who actions in Congress and at the Alamo where he died 
earned him recognition in American folklore. Yeah, I'll take that a little bit there so you can see it. Davy Crockett with his uh, rifle and that. I say that's that's real uh, simple coloring, black and uh, the green and all that, green and white. But that's that's real simple and nice. Let me just put that off to the side right here. All right, the next one. Now this one is together as a set. And they have it here where you can put it in the book. They show it broken, but I'm not breaking it. So, But it, it, they sent me a long enough one here to put it in. But anyways, we have the Twin Space Commemorative Stamp. Issued in conjunction with NASA's ninth anniversary, the design on the stamps feature an astronaut in space with his capsule. Originally issued, attached, both designs celebrate the accomplishment of uh, NASA. And I'll kind of just show you. There's the astronaut one. And then show them tethered to the capsule. And like I say, you can see, you know, where you, you could break them. But why break them? They're, they're more, you know, they, to me, they're worth more together, um, you know, as one complete set. All right. Our next one here is our urban planning. Issued for the International Conference of the American Institute of Planners, the stamp publicized the importance of urban planning and development. And again, you just got the like the out, uh, blueprint there for the uh, urban planning and that. All right, everybody, if you get this joke, I, I know you know what show I'm talking about. Where was the leak located, everyone? Exactly. The Finnish Independent in Finland. <laughs> Following the Russian Revolution of 1917, Gustav Man 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 Mannerheim led anti-Bolshevik Finnish forces in a fight for independence. The stamp was issued to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the victorious struggle, as well as the tradition of friendship between Finland and the United States. And... It's a really nice blue color. Um, and I believe that's a lion on there. That's a, yeah, that's what it almost looks like. Like um, like their, their seal or whatever. But that's a really nice one too. I, I like that one. Like I said, I like them all so far. And the, the, all of the ones that I've gotten um, within these series um, have really been nice. Even the airmail ones and all that. And like I said, you know, I got just so much I can show everybody, um, you know, in terms of... Uh, you know, like all different stuff. Like I say, I got the stamps, I got coin collecting, I got all that stuff. But like I say, I, I'm so far I've been real happy with these. But let's uh, let's get this over with here. <laughs> all right. So the next one is Thomas Eakins. Remembers American painter Thomas Eakins, who portrayed scenes on the can of canvas with photographic brilliance. This is this issue's picture, the uh, let's see, the uh, brothers racing which hangs in the National Gallery of the Art, the Biglin, Biglin Brothers Racing, I'm sorry, which hangs in the National Gallery of Art. And you can see, like they say, that is uh, a really nice one too, a real colorful one. It's, uh, you know, from the, the painting there. That's a really nice one too. And we got two more here. All right, so now we got our next one up is Christmas. This was the sixth of the U.S. Christmas issues. It utilizes the same design as the previous year of the Madonna and the Child with Angels by Hans Memling. However, because the stamp is nearly twice the size of the original issue, greater t detail can be enjoyed. And if I did the 19... Let me just look here real quick and see. I think if I did the 1966 on video... Yeah, I would have done... I think I've done that one on video... If I did, I'll put a, yeah, I, I might have done that one. If I did, I'll put a link in one of the corners there and you can, you know, go back and see the smaller one. But that's the, that's the bigger one. And the other one was um, just like a regular, regular size postage stamp, a little square postage stamp. So yeah, that one is a little more detail and all that. And the final one in our series here tonight is Mississippi Statehood. Uh, December December 10th, 1817, Mississippi became the 20th state to join the Union. The stamp, which was issued to commemorate the state's centennial, pictures the Mississippi flower, the magnolia. 
And there's that one right there. Like I say, real, really nice stamp. I, I really, like I say, enjoy all these ones. So, all right, everyone. Well, that was the year 1967. And um, let's see. The next one we might do, if we still don't have time for that flex track, or not time, but if that flex track still has yet to come in yet, um, the next one I believe we can do, and that one we might have to break into two parts. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but let me just look here real quick. We have um, 1958, which was um, 21 stamps. And a lot of them look like um, like they were of um, famous people and everything. 1958-59. Yeah, we got Lincoln. As you have the Lincoln ones here that were um, in the thing. Lincoln sesquicentennial, the Douglas Lincoln Douglas debate, sesquicentennial, and the sesquicentennial one. So yeah, so um, I might end up just doing those ones next, the nineteen, um, the 1958, but we'll see, you know, we'll see which ones I uh, get to and everything. But again, you know, thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you all enjoy the videos, and again, you know, if you're new, please subscribe, and you give that, you know, give the video a thumbs up, because it really helps get it out there. So until next time, everyone, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you right here next time. Bye, everyone.